Welcome back to another charger review and test. This is the VP4C which was sent in via XSTAR for a review and this particular charger is an update over the previous VP4. These are the batteries that it takes so right up to the 32650 cells and the really small lithium ion and just some of the features on the box just to give you an idea. This is just for lithium ion batteries 3.6 and 3.7 volts so it won't be able to do nickel metal hydride or the other voltage of lithium batteries. Only thing that you get included with this apart from the charger obviously is the cable and there is a user guide. The cable is a barrel style connector with a type A plug on one end 75 centimeters in length and this is the charger with the protective wrap on the front. I usually just leave them in place myself and you'll see markings in the bays for the charging speed. One amp on the outside maximum and half an amp max on the inside. There's your front LCD display and the covering on that is quite thick. Uh, no issues with pressing that in. I can't see that getting damaged by accident. And the overall build on this is actually good. It feels very similar to the VC4, the fire retardant plastics, metal sliders, and they're quite smooth in operation. But medium tension on those. That's the slot length, just under 72 millimeters. So you're not going to be able to use those protected 20 and 21700 batteries. The unprotected ones, they'll fit okay without any problems. There's your input for the barrel connector. On the underside, silicone pads and some of the markings, which just repeats what I've showed you, but I'll give you a close up shot on that. I do quite like the styling on this. I haven't used the previous version. That was a mains powered by an adapter, whereas this is USB. Just gonna power it up now to show you. And as far as battery types, you can fit the larger batteries in the two outer bays. This is a 26650. The middle bays, you'll only really be able to fit three unprotected 21700 cells in here. There's not quite enough space there between the sides of the bays. They perhaps could have made it slightly longer. Apart from that, you won't have any problems with the normal 18650 and other batteries. When it's powered on, you'll see the half amp, but if you put a battery into the two outer bays, the default charging speed is one amp. If you put battery into the middle bays, one or two, then you're gonna get that half an amp. On screen is the charging speed, so the outer bays can got the three charging levels, quarter, half, and a full amp, but the bays in the middle, half an amp or quarter of an amp, they can't go over that. Simply a press of the button, and that will change the charging speed. But for all four bays, long press the button will turn off the backlight display. That dims after about 10 seconds. LED lights at the top will show you whether it's charging or it's finished or it's empty. So even with the display off, very easy to see if a cell has finished charging. All you need to do is give it a quick press for a couple of seconds and you can bring back the display. Now, as far as the charging speeds goes, as I said earlier, you have to change all of the bays at the same time. But still, at least we have some control over the charging speed. That is something which I do like to see. Viewing angles of this are actually quite good on the display. It's only really at extreme angles or just above and to the side that it does fade, but it's still quite a nice display, very easy to see that, and it's very clear most of the time. There's your reverse polarity protection, so if you put a battery in the wrong way around, nothing will happen at all, it won't attempt to charge it. They also have a soft start function, so it gives it a very gentle charge, just for about 10 seconds or so, and then it will go up to the full charging speed, which will be, in this case, one amp. Next I'll say that reduces battery shock by starting off at a slightly lower current. You also have your low or zero voltage battery activation with this charger as you do on most of the chargers out there, not all of them. To me this is going to be aimed for someone who perhaps had an MC series or a simple charger and they just want a bit of control over the charging speed. Voltage reader on this is quite accurate, one of the better ones I've looked at and you also have the progress bars at the bottom in five stages so you can easily see whether or not a battery has charged. Once it's finished charging, you'll see those bars stop and the voltage readout, that isn't fixed. So if you leave them in there for an extended period of time, it will gradually drop. The 250 milliamps is quite a useful charge rate, particularly if you're someone that uses the smaller lithium batteries. And I have quite a few of them around as well, or if you want to give batteries a slow charge. So I do like to see that feature. Just remember if you've got bigger cells in there to drop the charge rate down. Quick look at the included user guide. It's very straightforward and simple charger to use but I'll just show you this on the screen just to give you an idea. Onto the battery termination test. These are when they've just finished charging and I'm getting around 4.2 down to around about 4.18. I've put quite a few batteries through this in the last week 
and they're all been coming in at that range and that's a good charge rate anything over 4.15 to 4.2 is a good charge XSTAR tend to give slightly higher charge rate than the Nightcore chargers that I've looked at. Quick summary on the VP4C. It's not a bad little charger. I'm quite happy with it in a lot of ways. I do wish they would go with the Type-C connector or the micro USB. Also wish that they would have the extra slot length for the protected 20 and 21 700 batteries and it's just for the 3.6 or 3.7 volt batteries. If you can live with those limitations, you've got a nice backlit display on this, good termination, and you have a choice of charging speeds, which is going to be quite useful for some users. I do wish XTAR had been a little bit more ambitious with this, with those points that I've mentioned, but it isn't a bad little charger, particularly if you've got a variety of lithium batteries, large and small.